YouTube, hello, welcome back to my stream. As you can see, I'm still in the standby screen. That is because uh, I haven't revealed what I'm going to be playing yet to stream or to my chat. Um, uh, they don't know, but you do, because you guys will have read the title. <laughs> so, yeah, th this is going to be really freaking stupid. And Chibu's cat apparently wants to puke. See, even Chibu's cat thinks this is stupid. Anyway, I'm uh, just to... Just so that way I'm not keeping uh, my chat in suspense for too long. Uh, gonna load up the game now. <laughs> oh, shit. Cool, there we go. I also need to resize the game a little bit. <laughs> That's probably fine. <laughs> no, not Transformers, although I, I did consider that. <laughs> so fucking dumb. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Family Feud for the PS1. <laughs> Yo, I didn't even know that. Hi, welcome to the family feud. You can go directly backstage and prepare for the show, or you can go to our create your family selection. Oh, yo, I can make a family? Holy shit. <laughs> I always see Steve Harvey clip. Unfortunately, this is way before Steve Harvey was the host. Okay, adjust the game so it's exactly oh, the way you like. Uh, okay, let's give... I'm gonna need max time for everything. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna make the computer smart. Hi, welcome to the family feud. <laughs> you. you can go directly backstage and prepare for the show, or you can go to our create your family selection. <laughs> you need. Oh, uh, jeez, what is the create a family like? Yeah, I know there's no freaking data. This is my first time playing the game. You can create a new family or edit one that already exists. Oh, uh, that just seems rude to change a family like that. Um. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, outstanding PS1 load times. Oh my god, these people are white. Uh, okay, you, you know, I, I won't create a new family just yet. I, I want to freaking just go into a game with these freaking... Alright, you gotta make a couple of choices here. First of all, how many families? Uh, I'm, I'm lonely. I, I only have one. Uh, jeez, what, which family do I go with, Chibu? Do I go with the Robinsons? The Woo! The Hower or the Joneses? The Wu? Alright, we're going with Wu. I really hope the Wu family isn't what I'm thinking it might be in my head. Oh, no. <laughs> they're kind of Asian. Oh no, that's so rude. Actually, they could be Italian. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, jeez, what was your name again? Louie? Ah, oh, fuck, I can't remember your name. What was the name of the original Family Feud host? God damn it, I can't remember his name. I know he's... I know he's passed away, but I can't fucking remember his name now. I'm freaking blanking on his name. Oh, jeez, how do I even play this game? Our first family hails from... Alberta. And they describe themselves as... <laughs> jovial. Okay. Hear it for them. Family number one. Oh, you can't even say the name Wu. Respect our family name. Vermont. And they describe themselves as loud and reflective. Let's hear it for them. It's family Louis. Okay. Two. Please. 
I'm not sure. Oh my god. Let's go, Louie! Oh my god, Louie, you look great! Is this 4K? Good luck, everybody. Jesus Christ, they have Louie in 4K? Didn't even think it was possible. We surveyed 100 people, top five answers are up on the board. Here we go. Are you ready? No. Name an expensive fabric. Okay, um... Family number one. Oh, uh... Oop, nope. Uh, how do I delete? Oh, God. Oh, of course I can't use the freaking... D-pad. No, it's freaking satin. Right? I'll just go with silk. Uh, how do I answer? Done. Okay. Is it there? Oh my god, what's with your teeth, Louie? I don't remember your teeth being like that. Woo! Let's go! Fuck you, Robinsons! <laughs> oh, we're gonna play. You're playing? Okay. Sorry, I gave you an answer. Oh, no, Chibu, come on. We're part of the same family. We're part of the... Woo! <laughs> oh, jeez, I have to play for all these bitches? Crap, I was hoping some of these guys were AI. Um... Oh, fuck. I am the family. Oh wow, only four people, huh? God damn it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Louie. Another player. All right. Name an expensive fabric. Ah, this is probably wrong. Up, oh, nope. Uh, no, that's not how you spell it. Uh, linen or fur. Yeah, that probably would be better than what I said. Fuck! Really? You couldn't even let him finish his line? You cut him off? Name an expensive fabric. We'll try this. What are the numbers for? That's the number of people who said the answer and how many points you get. Ah, fuck! Uh, I, I I understand, Louis. One more strike, and you get a chance to steal. Another player. Shit, and I made them intelligent too. We're gonna be fucked. <laughs> Name an expensive fabric. I don't know if I don't know if fur counts or not, but I'll try it because I have no other idea. Is it there? Show it. Ah, uh, velvet. Uh, I didn't think of velvet. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top five. All right, bring on the other family. All right, what are you bitches gonna say? Next family, your turn. Another player. Okay, got an answer for us? What are you gonna say, motherfucker? An expensive fabric. Immediately with velvet. Okay, you can fuck yourself. You never know what's going to be up there. Survey says. 
I did make them super smart, yeah. Right. Absolutely. Maybe I shouldn't have. Yeah, they got the steel. Damn it! Also, I just realized I need to change my freaking uh, game category. And to wrap things up. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. Do we need to check the scoreboard? It's been one round, Louie. Fuck. You're playing well, family number two. What the fuck is Swade? I don't know. These are freaking like 80s television answers. I have no ideas. Let's go. It's time for round two. Yeah, they get all the points. Uh, can I pause? Oh, I skipped Louie. Oh, Louie, I'm so sorry. We surveyed 100 people. You know, it's always 100 people, never 90. Top six answers are up on the board. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you, Louie. So, I'm, uh, to, I guess you're not familiar with Family Feud, Chibu. I think it's called something else in, I'm, uh, I think it's called something else in the UK. But I'm a, uh, yeah, I'm a, uh, so before these shows, they survey 100 people for, like, the top 100 answers. And, I'm um, a, uh, however many answers there are is how many points it's worth on the board. So, number one is usually what most people said. Number six, like, maybe freaking two people said. And, I'm, um, uh, you earn all the points if you, I'm, um, uh, clear the board or if you steal from the other family after they get three strikes. And, I'm, um, uh, when you steal, you get whatever points were currently up. And um, uh, the game ends and goes into its final round called Fast Money once when you reach 300 points. Or they do like a freaking um, uh, tiebreaker kind of thing if both families happen to reach 300 points. But if everyone loses, then I believe the person with the highest amount just wins or whatever. Try to give the most popular one. Ready? In a carpool, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone else. Um, Your answer, family number one. Talk. Because, God damn it, I just want people to shut the fuck up. I hope it's up there for you. Thank you, Louie. You're so supportive. Oh, Sing is a good one. Talks too much. Well good answer, but there's one that can beat it. Next time, one. All right, just how smart are you? Are you just gonna instant win this? What do you think it is, family number two? Oh shit! <laughs> I might have made the AI too smart. Okay, show me the answer. Oh no! Oh wow! Okay. Good answer. Good answer. We need a decision. Play your pass. Um, I'll I'll pass this time. Let let's see how let's see how family number two does. Next player, what's your guess? In a carpool, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone. Else. Smacks teeth. Oh shit! I might have to get pretty specific with my answers. Hey, you stupid idiot! You goddamn moron! <laughs> Fucking idiot! <laughs> this is so stupid. Why am I playing this game? <laughs> oh, that's a good answer. Smokes, damn it, that's a really good answer. Right on. Our top answer. Way to go. How are you gonna win at this point? Um, well the points escalate each round, so you can always come back. Honestly, things don't really matter until like the third or fourth round. 
backseat driver or shit. Let's see if it's up. I should not have passed. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, wow. That, really? That's not up there? Good answer. But sorry. Your second strike. All right. I have an answer if Next they family. get another strike. Next family member. What do you say? In a carpool, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone else. Okay. Show me the answer. Arrives late. Mm. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. But you're in the car? Yeah, I would think that you'd be in the car unless if your carpool is just late to, like, pick you up or something. I guess. Jesus Christ. They did not do justice to your face, lady. Chews gum? Shit, that might be close to the answer that I was thinking. I was just thinking, like, eating in general. Fuck! I might, I might be screwed. I should have put the AI on easy. Shit. That's clear. Let's go. In a carpool, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone. Passes gas. God damn it. Nah, they got farting. I hope it's up there for you. Wow, really? Oh, uh, shit. I have to get the number six answer? Are you kidding me? Freaking, that's like the one and that's like freaking one person said something. <laughs> Welcome, Shrek Fork. This is the freaking PS1 family feud. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it. I have to get answer number six. Freaking like one person gave the answer and they were probably like high on crack or something. Ah, oh, fuck. Um. Uh, fucking burp. Nope, that's not it. There's no way this is up there. Survey says. <laughs> Grandma tits going into her belly. Shit. What if music? I don't think music would be that low. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I was wrong. I I I literally just lost this round. Thank you, Louie. And last but not least. What was it? Snores. Fuck. Let's check the scoreboard. Uh damn. They're more than halfway to winning the game and I'm at zero points. Yo, Shrek Fort, thank you for the follow. Very much appreciate it. <laughs> okay, it's round three. Let's go. Do I have a Discord server? No, I'm... I mean, I have, like... I have... I have Discord, but I don't have a server or anything. Two more players and we can get going. Let's do it. Surveyed a hundred people. Top five answers are up on the board. Try to guess the most popular answer. Should make one. I, I honestly don't really know how to. Tell me a kind of business that makes money from other people's tragedy. Oh, geez. Triggered. Oh, fuck. Um. Hey, family number one. Uh. For. Uh. Ah, oh, shit. There's no way I'm spelling this correctly. Mortician? That's not correct. Fuck. Ah. Uh, I'm not lagging. Everything's fine for me. Oh, wait. Oh, I just saw something in the corner. Okay, maybe it is me. Uh, doctors. Stream lagging. Crap. Damn it! I'm sorry, but it's not one of our top answers. 
Ah, my my stream disconnected. Shit. I died! Oh no! Oh, I'm back. Oh, thank God. Family feud was too strong. Lawyer. God damn it. I, I tried to say doctor, but that wasn't up there. And they said lawyer. Uh, name a profession that makes money off of other people's tragedy or something. Next player, what's your guess? The la oh, damn it, is the lag that bad? I don't know if there's a way for me to fix it right now. Shit. Uh, do -do -do. Okay, well, aside from that disconnect, everything is looking fine right now. I'm not dropping any frames, and I'm at a consistent 30. So what the hell is going on? What's the business for Cementer Funeral? Like, freaking a mortician, but I couldn't remember how to spell freaking mortician. Alright, uh... Resume the game. Tell me a kind of business that makes money from other people's tragedy. Funeral parlor, god damn it! That's probably a better way to phrase things. Alright, show me that app. Louis, please don't get excited for them. God damn it! I had that answer in mind, but I couldn't freaking think of a better term than mortician, and I didn't know how to spell mortician. God damn it. Oh, you guys are gonna kick my ass. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? They're gonna leave me, like, with, like, the number six answer. <laughs> What's my opinion on beans? <laughs> Ah, uh, news media. Ah, oh, fuck. That's so good. Shit. You. I'm dumb. Um. Uh, d d d d would Beans be able to get me out of this situation? <laughs> Could I answer Beans and be safe? Next player. What's your guess? <laughs> oh my god. Jeez, what is with this guy? Tell me a kind of business that makes money from other people's I friends. think you need some freaking... Like sunlight, dude. Why do you look so pale? Is it there? Let's see. Probably looking like Superman. Oh, well. <laughs> ah, strike one. Afraid. Sorry. Yeah, but that's only their first that's strike, scary. and they're freaking. I made them intelligent. Tell me a kind of business that makes money from other people's tragedy. Towing service? I mean, I guess. I don't know if I would consider I, I don't know if I would consider a broken car to be a tragedy. Yeah. Uh oh, that's strike number two. Oh, fuck! I really need to think of something. Family number one. One more strike and you're up. Next family member. What do you say? Towing service. That's what they just said. Tell me a kind of business that makes money from other people's tragedies. Monuments? That's not even a business! What? All right. Show me that answer. <sighs> good answer, but it wasn't in our top five. That wasn't even a that wasn't even a good guess. What the hell was that? I guess there's some of the AI stupidity sneaking in. Return. Fuck, now what do I Another say? Player. No, I'm still thinking. Wait, um, crap. <laughs> oh my god. Jumping spider gave birth to 100 plus spiderlings, but died shortly after due to the pain. Spiderlings are okay and are leaving to survive alone. Building web already? I'm known as the weird spider guy. Oh man, and I'm a bit of an arachnophobe, but hey, you know what? I can handle reading about spiders, just don't, you know, 
Show me them. <laughs> oh, God. What do I say for this? Crap. Oh, they already said some good ones. Number three or number four? Who makes money off of other people's tragedy? They're cute. Uh, not to me. Tell me a kind of business that makes money from other people's tragedy. Ah, mm. oh, fucking... Damn it, nope. Debt collectors. Let's see if it's up there. Fuck! They won. <laughs> loan shark, yeah. Uh, maybe loan shark was a better way to phrase it. You did it, family number two. Well done. Yeah, they're 50 points away from winning, and I have zero. God damn it! What was in third? This is how typing with my. Let's see what was in oh fourth. my god! Huh? I said doctor. Really? Insurance. God damn it! That takes us to the end of this round. Let's I should have fucking guessed more. insurance. Literally, freaking our insurance like fucks us like every fucking day. God damn it! I said doctors, and they didn't give me fucking hospital? Fuck off. Man, this game's rigged, Louie! And round four points are tripled, but you only get one strike. And then, the other family gets a chance to steal. Oh, that's different. I own- you only get one strike in round four? Oh shit. I guess they changed that for um, uh, later seasons. Let's do it. We surveyed 100 people. Top four answers are on the board. Try to give the most popular answer. Ready? Past or present? Name a country that has. <laughs> name a country that has had a revolution. What do you think it is, family? America. Good answer. Good answer. Is it up there? Thank you, Louis. USA. 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 Jeez. Wow. Someone was excited. Our number one answer. What are you going to do? Oh, we're going to play. I know a few countries that have had revolutions. Going to play. Yeah, I, I was already thinking France, but I just wanted to get the obvious, like, America out of the way. There we go. Shout out to all my French people. I hope it's up there for you. Woo! Right on. Absolutely. Another player. Montenegrin? Yo, sweet. I don't think I've ever met someone from Montenegro before. Past or present. Name a country that has had a revolution. At least not that I know of. Thank you for the claps, Chivu. Appreciate it. It should be. Sweet. Absolutely. Ah, fuck. Uh Didn't Mexico have a revolution? Past or present, name a country that has had a revolution. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm thinking like Mexico or 
Cuba? I'll, I'll try Mexico and see if that works. Because I know there was a Mexican revolution. I just don't know if Mexico is a good enough way to phrase it. All right. Show me that. Eddie. Didn't Cuba have a revolution? Fuck. Well, I have to hope that the AI doesn't get it. Good guess, but no. Got to give you a strike. A chance to steal coming up. Shit. This could be bad for me. Another player. We need another answer. Yo, fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up, you four-eyed bitch. Past or present, name a country that has had a revolution. Damn it, she said Cuba. Fuck. All right. Let's see if it's on the board. Fuck. They said Cuba. I should have went Cuba. Fuck. 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 Damn it. Shit. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> oh, look like bootleg Steve Harvey. Ah, uh, and they won. God damn it. Rip, dude, rip. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. Do we do we don't need to check the scoreboard? Can we skip over the scoreboard, please? Uh, let, let's no, we don't we don't we don't need to look at this. Uh, skip pass. Go, ah, fuck, man. What a game. Do I actually have to watch them play fast money or does it just like end? Thanks for joining us on the family feud. I hope you had a good time. So long everybody. Okay, it just ends. It doesn't let it doesn't let me watch them play fast money. Okay, well, that went awful. <laughs> God damn it. I should have said Cuba. Why the hell didn't I say Cuba? I'm freaking stupid. Hi, welcome to the family feud. Okay, well. Okay. Adjust the game so it's exactly the way you like. Uh, hey, L Louis, we're gonna make them dumb now. Hi, welcome to the family feud. You can go directly backstage. All right, you got a. You need to pick a family. All right, Woos, you fucked me. We're going with the Hewer Hauer. I don't know how you say this last name. Come on, round two. We got this this time. Oh, wow. These are some white-looking people. My people. God damn. Man, is it, too is it too late for me to restart my recording and just, like, get rid of that first game so that way people don't see that I lost by over 500 points? Is it too late for that? From New Jersey. And they oh, great, we're freaking Jerseyan. There is there's no such thing as a Tim in New Jersey person. No such thing. That does not exist. Oh, the woos! They're, they're angry at me for failing them. Oh no. They're back for revenge. Have I played Minecraft? I ha I'm uh, not on stream or anything, but I have played Minecraft in my own personal time when I was younger and stuff, yeah. It's time for the feud. I've got the questions. You've got the answers. Let's have some fun. A hundred people surveyed. Top five answers up. All right, come on. We got this. We got this. However, you say my family name. You ready to do this? These days, many men are taking jobs traditionally held by women. Um. Your answer, family number one. I guess nurse. Oh. 
Okay. Show me the answer. Oh, okay. I don't know if I have any other ideas for this. Good answer. Number one. Play or pass? What do you want to do? I guess we'll play, but... Family number one is going to play. Ah, oh, fuck. Is this game going to be sexist? I don't know if this game is sexist. I mean, th th this is based off the show back during like the 80s or 90s or whatever. It, we, we were still... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That was what I was thinking. Oh, uh, man, is this... Well, at least the woman character is answering this. Really? Ah, oh, strike one, sorry. Okay, I'm curious. What happens if I say cook like Shrek Fork said? Is it is it literally gonna be that like specific? These days many men are taking jobs traditionally held by women. Name one of these jobs. This will either work or I'll get a second strike, but it's only the first round, so I'm not super concerned. Okay, just no, just no to that in general. All right. It's not there. Shit. Second strike. Family number two, one more strike, and you get a chance to steal. Next player, let's go. Ah, oh, jeez, what jobs are traditionally held by women? I don't know. I've never talked to a woman in my entire life. Taking jobs traditionally held by women. Name one of these jobs. Vet? Ah, uh, maybe. Uh, can I just type in vet, or do I need to type in, like, the whole thing? Vet. Tri... Narian? Ah, fuck. I don't think that's working out for me. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping saying just vet works. I don't know how to spell I'm a dumb American. Shit. Oh, well. Damn it. I got one answer. I really should have passed that. All right, let's see how dumb these guys are. Mage, god damn it! These days, many men are taking jobs traditionally held by women. Homemakers, fuck! I mean, oh, that's like the same thing as made, really. But god damn it! Wow, really? Good answer, but it wasn't in our top five. All right, family number one, you got the points. Yeah, 58 points. That's 50 more. Po that's 58 more points than last time. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. Secretary. <laughs> Fucking blowjobs. Teach. Ah, oh, damn it. I considered saying teacher. And to complete the board. Flight attendant. Hairstyle it. Wow. A prostitute. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, there was quite a number of obvious ones there that I well just done, did not think of. One. I wish I typed in blowjobs as a joke answer now. God damn it. Let's go. It's time for round two. Yeah, let's go, Louie. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go! Come on! We didn't even walk. We just freaking slid into screen. You ready to do this? Name something you keep hitting. Oh, um, I don't think this. Is, I don't think I could just say porn. Oh, you know what? That that that's a better answer. <laughs> Come suck. Um. 
Ah, oh, damn it! Come on. Uh, adult. Maga. That's definitely number one answer. Okay. Tell me the answer. A uh, diary is also a good one. What? Bullshit! Oh, well. This is the 80s and 90s. Everyone had adult oh, magazines under their bed. Number one. You get a chance now. Bullshit. Come on, you tell me this lady doesn't have an adult magazine hidden? Food? Where would you keep your food hidden? Who do you have coming into your home that you're concerned about them finding your food? Who are you trying to avoid feeding? Yeah. What? Exactly. I'm so confused. Player five. Family number two is going to play. God damn it. How did I lower their freaking AI difficulty to freaking low? And yet they're still kicking my ass now. God damn it. Name something you keep hidden at home. A gu oh, fuck, that's a good answer. Damn it. Is it there? Let's see. Report card? Oh, yeah. Wow, only three people said gun? In America? Absolutely. Uh, well, I mean, it is America. We don't exactly hide our guns. We kind of, like, show them loud and proud. So, you know what? Never mind. Three people make sense. Next player. What's your guess? Coin collection? Children? <laughs> okay. Get in the closet, you little the bastard. Fucking never should have come in that woman. <laughs> Jeez. Good guess, but no. I gotta give you a strike. Oh. Next family member, what do you say? Name something you keep hidden at home. <laughs> Drugs? Oh, God. Ah, oh, shit. Money's a good one. Cigarettes. All right. Let's see if it's on the board. Ah, damn. Money. Yo, how is porn not the top answer, though? Come on. Our number one answer. I was thinking realistically, La Louis. I forgot your name for a moment. I was thinking realistically, all these people in the audience are liars. Name something you keep hidden at home. D what? <laughs> vacuum cleaner? Oh man, I'd hate if people found my fucking vacuum. Oh well. I thought it would be there. Sorry, that's two strikes. Family number one, one more strike, and you get a chance to steal. Charger? I mean, this day and age, yeah, maybe, but I don't know about 80s and 90s if they would be trying to hide their charger. Name something you keep hidden at home. No! I was gonna answer that, you bitch! Fuck. I need a, I need a new answer now. Shrek, Shrek Fork, she stole your answer. Kill her. <laughs> Damn it. Christmas gifts. Fuck. All right. Let's see if it's on the board. Okay. Shit, now I need something new. Oh, I really wish that bitch didn't say diary. Next family, your turn. Another player. We need another answer. Uh, fucking medicine? Because you don't want your dumbass kids to get into it? Uh, 
Is there anything better? I have time to think. Is there anything better than medicine? Or just drugs in general? I can't think of anything else. Ah, fuck it. Let's go for it. Okay. Show me the answer. Fuck! I swear to God, if they've listed it under drugs... Oh, man. If adult toys is up there, but not adult magazines, I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna be so mad if adult toys is up there. What was in third? And to finish the board. Jewelry. Fuck. I thought money would have counted under that. Important papers? What? That takes us to the end of How is that the not world. adult magazines? How is that not porn? <laughs> I should have gotten number six. <laughs> God damn it. I'm losing again. There's a lot of game left. Hang in there, family number one. Maybe the papers are porn? Exactly. I should have gotten it. Oh, come on, I gotta get into fast money. I have to show off fast money at least. Come on, another player from each family. Yeah, let's go. Could you do the which countries had revolutions question again? I know the answers. On the board. Try to give the most popular answer. Everybody ready? Name something that might be vintage. Uh, okay, family number one. Wine? Let's see if it's up there. Vintage cell phone? Yeah, that could work. Sixty-nine! Hell yeah! What does that actually mean? I've never even touched another person in my life. <laughs> we need a decision. Player uh, I gotta play. Gonna play? Let's go. Yeah, jewelry, maybe. <laughs> Name something that might be termed vintage. Ooh, vintage watch. That's a good idea. Thanks, Louie. I couldn't tell that it wasn't up there. Next player, what's your guess? All right, come on, obese George Lucas. We got this. Let's try jewelry. Ah, oh, vintage painting is also pretty good. I'll try jewelry first, but I'll keep that in mind. How am I this dumb? Well, I thought it would be there. Sorry, that's two strikes. <sighs> Next family, one more strike, and you're up. Another would would it be okay. best to say I'm painting, or one. would it be best to say art? Name CD, cassette. Mm. I'll go for painting. Though I think I'm gonna get booked. Is it there? Show us! Thank you, Louie. Thank you for being excited. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Uh, good answer, but it wasn't in our top four. What the hell are the 
other answers? How did I not get any of the others? Next family, it's your turn. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? Louis making you act up. Oh god. I mean he's a handsome man, so I don't I don't blame you. Vintage furniture? Fuck dude! Let's see if it's up there. They stole it. No, really? What the fuck are these other answers? How is vintage furniture not one of them? What? What are these other answers? Let's see what was the second most popular answer. What was in third? Car. Let's see what was in Clothing. Up, oh, you just said it, Shrek Fork. And movies. Wow. Okay. Let's check out how both families are doing. How did you only have four answers for that? You couldn't have eight. Have a variety. God damn it! Even if I make it to freaking fast money, I'm apparently gonna freaking get like one answer and then fuck up the rest. The round four points are tripled, but you only get one strike. Then the other family gets a chance to steal. Let's play. Alright, this could literally make or break the game for me. I need two more players up here. Let's go. We surveyed a hundred people. You know, it's always a hundred people, never ninety. Top six answers are up on the board. Try to give the most popular one. What's the question? Everybody ready? Name a specific article where... What do you think it is, family number one? That you'd like to repair it so much rather than throw it away? Is watch the answer this time? I swear to God. Let's see if it's up there. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Nice try, but no, sorry. Family number two, you give it a shot. Family number two. Specific articles of wearing apparel which you'd like so much that you never know what's gonna you'd be rather up there. repair than throw it or whatever. I didn't even see what they said. Pants. Oh, great. Can I just... Can I just say Good shirts? Answer. Good answer. What are you going to do? Play or pass? They're probably going to play. Family number two is going to play. Yep. Shirt, jewelry, jewelry. And Nikes. I don't know if Nikes were a big thing yet when this game came out. Name a specific article of wearing a pair. Would you like so much you'd repair it rather than throw it away? Socks? Let's see if it's up there. Who the heck likes socks that much? Good answer. Good answer. Damn, she got badonka donks. <laughs> Yo, Shrek Fork, you're getting a little horny, my dude. Dress, fuck. Throw it away. All right, let's see if it's on the board. <sighs> I wonder if, like, maybe suit. It's not up there. I gotta give you a strike. Next family, you. I don't know if suit is good enough. <laughs> Being horny on Family Feud. <laughs> I mean, come on. Have you seen Steve Harvey? <laughs> okay, next next player. Not that he's here, but. Oh, nice nose piercing. Name a specific article of wearing apparel. Would you like oh, this is my turn? Oh, right. Oh, shit. I forgot that there's only one strike. Okay. I swear to God, if suit isn't up there, I will literally 
fucking slap a tomato. I want to see that ass. What? I'm slapping a tomato. Where is it? Good answer, but it wasn't They still don't have enough points to win though. All right, give family number 2 those points. What was our most popular answer? Should I have just said shirt? Was in third place. Shoes, boots, okay. Well, fuck off. The fifth most popular answer. Uh, I thought jacket. What was in the final? I should have just said shirt. God damn it. Sweater? Really? They count sweater as different from jacket? Okay, round. well, whatever. Let's check the scoreboard. No one's at 300 points, so we should still be going, right? Mm -hmm. Game. Congratulations, everyone. Coming up next is the fast money round with our top money winner, family number two. Oh, okay. Oh, so the game just ends on whoever has more points. Oh, shit. Okay. Thanks for playing Family Feud. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. See you next time. Should play Come House. I'm in the game. Oh, God. All right. I, I got to get to fast money at least one of these times. I can't not play a Family Feud game and not get to fast money. Hi, welcome to the family. Backstage, you need to pick a family. It's time for the Jones family. No more holding back. Try hard on Family Feud. I mean, I'm not gonna go so try hard that I like look up the answers or whatever. But God damn it, we are going to try hard. We apparently need to think freaking simple, but we also need to think in the freaking 90s. Come on, Louie, we got this, you beautiful son of a bitch. Our first family hails from Nashville. And they describe themselves as congenial and deluded. Oh, great. Let's we're deluded. Fuck. Family number one. Come on. I could actually win this game. I'm not that deluded. <laughs> They're from Charleston. And they describe Why does the previous family that I play as keep coming back for revenge? Dashing. Let's hear it for them. Family number two. <laughs> Look, Trek Fork, I'm trying my best, man, okay? It's time for the feud. I've got the questions, you've got the answers. Let's have some fun. people survey top five answers up on the <laughs> let's go the most popular answer. let's go ready when you have a tough decision to make all right this shouldn't be too hard yeah therapist is a good answer but I'm gonna stick with Parents first. You never know what's going to be up there. Says. Oh, only number two. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Number two answer. Only one's going to beat it. Next family. You got nothing. You got nothing. You look like you sell freaking. Fried chicken. Boss? I would not ask my boss for help in a difficult decision. Oh, Ooh, boy. All right. Good guess, but it's not there. 
Are you gonna play? Or? We're gonna play. You're gonna play? All right. Yeah, I was thinking, friend. Seven points. Five. Absolutely. That family member. Kind of thought that would be worth more, honestly. Um, you have a tough decision to make. Whose guidance do you see? I mean. I haven't had one of these in over a decade, but I'm assuming you would get advice from them in certain situations. I'll try sibling next. Spouse, okay. Let's try sibling. When you have a tough decision to make, whose guidance do you seek? All right. Come on. For all my brothers and sisters out there. Damn it. Oh, well. I knew my sister was dumb as shit. Sorry, not on the board. That's strike one. Another player. We need another answer. When you have a tough decision to make, <laughs> whose guidance do you seek? Would grandparents be different than parents? Can I double up on this? Nope, that's a B. That's not an A. That's a U. Good answer. Good answer. Is it up there? With my luck, probably not. Damn it. Oh, well. Oh, I'm sorry. Strike number two. Damn it! I thought that I thought that would be a good one. Family number two. One more strike, and you get a chance to steal. Next player, what's your guess? I I need to try getting at least answer number three, but I don't know what it would be. You have a tough decision to make. Whose guidance do you seek? Try teacher, I guess. This is probably going to be another X. I don't have any other answers in my head. Fuck. Damn it. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top five. I don't know if therapist is going to be up there. These freaking answers are so weird. I, I have absolutely no idea if therapist would actually be up there or not. Okay, next time. Next player. Let's go. A doctor might have been a good idea, but I don't know. What are you going to say? Lawyer. Ah, shit. That might be a good one. Is it there? Show it. Oh, boy. Coin collection. <laughs> oh, man. You know, whenever I'm feeling lost and confused, I just look to my good old pal, freaking George Washington, on my antique quarter. He guides me every time. Seriously, what was third? And lastly, 
God. <laughs> That coming. Whew. Let's go. It's time for round two. Oh boy. Man. You ever get surprised by God in freaking family feud? Because I just did. Come on, another player from each family. Surveyed a hundred people. Top five answers are up on the board. Try to guess the most popular answer. Is this game too old to I'm have ready. a video game category? Name a place where people do. Your answer, family. Name a place where people do a lot of reading. Library. Library. Yeah, school's a good one. A coin collection, god damn it. Library. Yeah. Man, someone got really excited. Was that you, Louis? Were you that excited for me? What will it be? I'm honored. Family number one is going to play. Ah oh, man, you know what? My next guess has to be place, coin collection. Place. Kidding. I'm gonna say school. Oh, that is too many O's. School. College. Nah, people are doing plenty of things in college, but reading isn't one of them. Good answer. Good answer. Thank you, Louie. Another player. Goddamn beautiful bastard. A beach? I was thinking I'm uh you know, just at home. I like to read at home. Why not home? All right. Let's see if it's on the board. Really? Oh. Wow. Ah, strike one. Sorry. Oh. Next family member. What do you say? I don't understand how home wasn't one. Name a place where people do a lot of reading. At the park. That's something people did. Let's see if it's up there. Honestly, don't know how people would ever focus on a book in a park. Okay, cool. I'm still really dumb, apparently. Good answer, but sorry. Your second try. Is college One too close to school for me to answer? Another player. We need another answer. Coin collection. God damn it. Name a place Fuck. where people do a lot of reading. Ah. Uh, fucking work, maybe? Oh, shit. What else? Um. I don't think beach would be up there. I don't know about college, because that might be too close to school. Um, fuck me. I'm so surprised freaking home wasn't even one of them. Fuck it, let's try work, I guess. I don't have a better idea. Let's see. Fuck me, dude! How do I only get like two of these things? Books. Yeah, you know what? People do do a lot of reading in books. Next family, it's 
your turn. Next family member, what do you say? Name a place where people do a lot of reading. Waiting room? That's so fucking specific. Is it there? Let's see. Is it really going to be up there? I'm going to be a little bit upset. Oh, thank God. What the fuck were these other three answers, dude? Louie, help me out. What were these answers? All right, family number one. You got the points. Thank you, Louie. Did they rip this straight from a show? From one of the shows? Or did they have them actually record for this fucking game? Better bedroom? Really? The home didn't count? Funnily enough, I actually did think bathroom. Doctor's office. Oh, I would never have thought doctor's office. End of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. Well, I'm halfway to winning. You're building up a big lead, family number one. Where the fuck reads in a bathroom? There's some weird ass people, man. I think people used to read in the bathroom before they switched to playing mobile games on the toilet. Okay, it's now everyone's too busy playing freaking Angry Bird. Or, you know, Candy Crush, whatever the most popular phone game is nowadays. I have no fucking idea. I don't really play phone games. Most of them are crap. A member from each family. Let's go. Damn, you're old. Okay, Shrek Fork, let's not attack people here. Look, you're you're new, okay? You don't understand. Name a kind of place that always has uncomfortable furniture? Family number one. What? Uh, I mean I'm gonna go with my grandparents again. Because my grandma has some really uncomfortable furniture. Is it there? Show it. Did I not put the D? Fuck, I didn't type D. Damn it. I forgot the D. Damn it, I'm throwing, I'm throwing. Family number two. School? I I mean I guess with the desks, but is that would that really count? Fuck me, that counts, alright. Good answer! Good answer! We need a decision. Play or pass. They're probably gonna play. All right, then family number one will play. Oh, never mind. They passed. All right. Apparently, they weren't confident in the answers that they had, and you know what? Neither am I. All right. Well, I mean, if school was one, surely work would have to be one. I can't even tell you the amount of places that I've seen with uncomfortable work chairs and stuff. Is it there? Let's see. Uh, maybe that's too generic. Nice try, but no. Your first strike. Ooh, I just thought of a better answer, actually. Got an answer for us? Name a kind of place that always has uncomfortable furniture. Don't think work is one? Yeah, but... Is it there? Mental hospital. Oh, jeez. What? Are you kidding? There. Well, hey, you know what? At least if the freaking enemy team steals this, they won't get a lot of points. One more strike and you're up, family number two. Another player. We need another answer. The oh, fuck me. Name a kind of place that always has uncomfortable furniture. Fucking an office? I hope 
it's up there for you. I'm so goddamn clueless. At least I won't get a lot of points for this. No, it's not up there. I didn't put up a single answer. The only answer that was up there was from the AI originally. I didn't put up a single goddamn answer for this. Next player, what's your guess? Jeez, you look like melted butter. Name a kind of place that always has uncomfortable furniture. Conventions? No in my luck, that's probably like answer number one. Oh. Well, I got a free four points, I guess. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top five. <laughs> Alright, family number one, you got the points. Do I go to fast money? What round was that? What was the number one response? Seriously. Let's see what was the Doc I said office, you bitch! What was in third? Church. And to complete Airport. The board, train station. Who the fuck takes a train anymore? After round three. Louise hair be looking like a dead rat. Well, it's more hair than what he would have right now. In round four, points are tripled, but you only get one strike. And then the other family gets a chance to steal. Let's play. Yeah, I need I need to do well in this round, otherwise I'm fucked. A member from each family. Let's go. We surveyed a hundred people. You know, it's always a hundred people, never ninety. Top six answers are up on the board. Try to give the most popular one. Are you ready? When you open a box of chocolates, which filling do you hope? Which filling do you hope you'll bite into? Ah. Uh... Family number one. Caramel? Is it there? Show it! Caramel! Yeah. Or caramel, I guess. You got it! Our number one answer! Oh, fuck, but do I pass or play this? Oh, fuck, I gotta play it. Family number one is going to play. I have to play it. Another player. You need another answer. Um. When you open a box of chocolates, which filling do you hope you'll bite into? Okay, show me the answer. Oh, I guess nuts works. Right. Absolutely. So wait, I can type in peanut butter and you'll give me nut. But I'll type Good in office there. and you can't give me doctor's office or doctor and can't give me hospital? This is fucked up. When you open a box of chocolate, okay, well. which filling do you hope you'll bite into? This isn't something that I ever want in my chocolate, but I know some people do. I absolutely hate coconut, but there are freaks out there who like it. I hope it's up there for you. Or is coconut just gonna be nuts? Nope, oh, it's different. All right. Exactly. Is it sad that I'm doing the best on the freaking chocolate round? <laughs> No, not quite. Who likes coconuts? I have no idea. Fucking freaks of nature. Which filling do you hope you'll bite into? Ah, fucking... Nougat? Is that how you spell it? 
hold on. How, how do you spell nougat? I shouldn't get penalized just because I don't know how to spell. Is that how you spell it? Why am I so dumb? Actually, that's nugget that I spelled, so yeah, that's definitely not nougat. Mm -hmm. That's how you spell it. Should go to a. Sp <coughs> Excuse me. I should go to a selling bee? Yeah, you're right, I should. And you should enter too. That's my first X. Oh, good answer, but sorry. The next family can steal. Oh, right. Shit, it's only one X. Fuck. I forgot about that. Damn it, that is so weird. I'm so used to Modern Family Feud where you still get three Xs no matter the round. What do you say? Oh, shit. They can, can, they can steal my whole game from me. When you open a box of chocolate, Maple walnut? <laughs> Bitch, you trying to steal my nuts? All right. Show me that ass. <laughs> oh, I get to I get to experience fast money. Yay! Yeah, Sorry. Oh man, I can't wait for fast money to be an absolute train wreck. <laughs> What was in third place? What was the fourth Ch most popular Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Liquid cherry, Jesus. Vanilla. Oh wow. I uh, you you know what, Trek Fork? I should have listened to you. I should have I should have put vanilla. But really, chocolate was one of the answers? So people just want straight up milk chocolate? I mean, fair enough, I guess. I just didn't think that would be up on the board. What filling do you hope to bite into when you take a freaking bite of a chocolate sweet? Chocolate? I thought that was a given, but oh well. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. Louis, we're going to finally see Fast Money, and I'm probably going to fuck it up. And yet, this still isn't the highest score that we've seen today. Going to the fast money round is our big winner, family number one. When am I streaming tomorrow? So, um, uh, Wednesdays is the day that I take off, actually. But, um, uh, I do stream every Monday and Tuesday around 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is my time. Um, and sometimes I stream Thursdays and Fridays. I should be free one of these days i should be free either thursday or friday i'm not sure which day but i'm um, uh, depending on which one it is i'll be live at 1 p.m pacific standard time and i'll probably be doing something different than family feud so if you want to catch me again doing whatever other random weird bs that i decide to do that's probably what i'm gonna do i'm uh you caught me on a weird stream today i'm a shrek fork i'm gonna be honest i don't usually do things this goofy i'm uh i typically play like a lot of horror games but I decided that I wanted to give myself a break for a bit and do some sillier content, and this is what my freaking dumbass brain came up with. Time to play fast money round. I need two people from your family. Let's go. Um, does it really? I don't think it matters who I pick. I play both people. Gotta go, man. Gotta go jerk off a bit. Ah, uh, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna jerk off to a picture of Louis. I understand. I'm probably gonna have to do that after the stream. Name a teenager's most prized possession. Uh, the their phone. Name an occupation you'd hate your neighbor to have. Uh, what? Did you hate your neighbor to have? I don't care what they have. Um, it's fucking. Uh, hold on, I need to think. 
Uh, occupation that you'd hate your neighbor to have? What? What does that even mean? What the fuck does that even mean? I don't know. I'm gonna have to pass this. Name something you do less of the older you get. Ah, uh, fucking R run! I don't run at. I don't run. Name a type of book where things are listed in alphabetical order. Ah, uh, fucking. Uh, Name any Italian food. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, nope, not that. Name an occupation you hate your name I at. still don't understand this one. I don't understand this one at all. What occupation would you hate for your neighbor to have? What? What the fuck does that mean? I'm assuming it's something that you would find annoying to live next to, but... Fucking... What would that even be? Fucking, I I have no idea. Dentist? I don't fucking know. Let's take a look at your answers. Name a teenager's most prized possession. Fourteen points. Fuck. Uh, that is a more modern thing. That's going to be zero points. Yeah. Name something you do less of the older you get. Okay, well. Name a type of book where things are listed in alphabetical order. Name any Italian food. All right, I really pulled it back with those last two answers. Same five questions. Good luck. The clock starts when I finish the first question. Ah, oh, shit. All right, so it's the same five questions. Name a teenager's most prized possession. If not phone, what the hell else would they have? Oh, their freaking car. Name a teenager's most prized possession. Name an occupation you'd hate your neighbor to have. I really don't fucking know. Uh. Ah, fuck. I don't remember how to spell anymore. They have, they have a funeral. Something you do less of, the older you get. I fucking think. Speak. Name a type of book where things are listed in alphabetical order. Th the... So... Um. Uh, quick, give me the Italian food. Name any Italian food. Cannoli. Name a type of 
type of book where things oh, are listed in alphabetical God. order. Ah. Uh, in I Encyclopedia. I don't think I got the. I don't think I got a hundred points. I'm gonna be honest. Name a teenager's most prized possession. Name an occupation you'd hate your neighbor to have. This feels like cheating when I'm playing both sides. I had no idea what the fuck they wanted for that. Name something you do less of the older you get. Wow, really? All right. Name a type of book where things are listed in alphabetical order. Fuck me. There's no I there's no way the next one's 31 points. Name any Italian food. There's no way cannoli's 31 points. Really? No one? Not one person said cannoli? That's too bad. Nice try. You're still our number one family though. Congratulations. At least made it to fast money, I guess. Back again and see us on Family Feud. I don't even get to hear what the number one answers for those were. Hi, welcome to the Family Feud. You can go directly backstage and prepare for the show, or you can go to our Create Your Family selection. You know what, Louie? I don't think I will. I'm done with you, Louie. We're gonna do something else now. You son of a bitch. I'm gonna do my own thing with blackjack and hookers. As soon as I get this loaded up. Alright. Let's see you try this on for size, Louie. That's right, everybody. We're doing Jeopardy, a respectable freaking TV game. And I need to change my category again. One moment. Do, do, do. Change from Family Feud. To... Oh my God! I'm Johnny Gilbert. Charlie Gilbert, please <laughs> shut up. Oh my God, Charlie, you sound awful. Oh my god, Charlie, please stop! Loose spelling, please, I'm pretty dumb. Oh, jeez, no, stop, stop, stop. Oh my god, this. Wow, this is awful. Huh, you know what? M maybe not this game? Oh, hey, things cleared up as soon as I got into the game. Alright. Um. Oh. Oh. Um. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, geez. Uh, clear that. Um. Uh. Si C. 
Sick. Sick. Own. Knee. Yeah. Nope. Shit. Uh. Amogus <laughs> done. Whose cat is okay, she hasn't come From back. Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy. Ah. Put on your thinking caps, folks, because it's time for another game of Jeopardy. Woo! Man, there must be a lot of categories to load in. Would you like to see the first round categories? Sure. By the way, why are things so freaking dark? Saints. Lakes like Saints Row? Rivers. Women in history. Well, who the fuck knows any of those? Gems and jewelry. Uh, probably the woman. Nursery rhymes. Okay. Crossword clues. A. Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> Fucking little bogus. Oh god. Why is this so dark? This pudding and pie guy kissed the girls and made them cry. What? I don't know this one. Player three. Peter Peter Sorry. Pumpkin Eater? No, he eats pumpkins, not pudding left. or pie. Hang in there. Oh, fucking. Ah. Uh... Fucking. How do you space? Oh, that's how. Who is Jack Horner? Um, how do I confirm? Done. No. Too bad. Alright, well. Anyone? Georgie Porgy? Alright, that was a good first round. Sure. Uh, surely I can't mess up twice in the same category. Second verse begins, every fiddler, he had a fiddle, and a very fine fiddle had he. Uh, man, I don't know nursery rhymes, apparently. Player two? <laughs> hey, Wrong. that was my answer from the previous round. Fuck off. Anybody? King, old King Cole? What? All right, think again. Man, me and the AI are doing awful. Although then again, I did make the AI dumb, so that's not completely the their fault. The of parts brought these edible treats back and vowed he'd steal no more. 
Oh, I might. Oh, oh shit. That's it. What? Tarts? All right, contestant two. I thought I thought this was a freaking. Okay, never mind. This playground fun spoiler is asked to go away. Come again another day. Player one. This is rain. Not rain from Mortal Kombat, though. Although I'm sure people wouldn't want him there either. Because he's kind of a prick. Correct. Player one, it's your turn. Alright, well, might as well finish this off. According to a nursery rhyme, oranges and these fruits. Say the bells of St. Clement. What? Player two? To be sure. Player two, your turn. Uh, uh, lemons? Okay, sure, I guess. Term for a lump of gold. The farther it's traveled from its source, the more rounded it is. What? I don't know. Anyone? Player two? <laughs> Ingot? Oh, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Okay. Huh. Nugget, oh, okay. Player two? In his general history, Captain John Smith said he would have been killed if not for her. Ah, fuck me. I don't fucking remember that at all. Yes, indeed. Oh. All right. I forgot that... I forgot Pocahontas interacted with them. All right. She married Napoleon after her first husband was guillotined during France's reign of terror. Player one? Uh... Oh, fuck, what was her name? Was it Victoria or Elizabeth? Incorrect. Fuck. Anybody? Here is the correct response. Josephine. I don't remember that. All right, pick again. All right, freaking player two, apparently woman lover. He broke a women's shooting record by smashing 100 clay targets in a row. Literally no idea. Here is the correct response. Okay, if you say so. All right, think again. During the 1980s, she headed two cabinet departments. Transportation and labor. Player two? That's correct. I didn't even have a chance to buzz in for that. Not that I knew it. All right, freaking player two, we get it. You love woman. hanged in connection with the Lincoln assassination, she was the only woman. Oh, fuck, I don't remember her name. Player two? Player three, you can go ahead and go for it. I, d I don't know, man. Here is the correct response. All right, never mind. All right, think again. At about two thirds of a square mile, Upper Lake is the smallest of this country's lakes of Killarney. What? Player one. 
Fucking Michigan? No, my money. Anyone? Here is the correct Ireland. I okay. Well, I tried. All right, think again. No actual details are known about the life of this patron saint of England. Well, then how the heck am I supposed to know him? St. George would not have been my guess. All right, think again. Crocodile cousin, nine letters. Player one. I know this. Right you are. Your turn, player one. See you later, croc. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Guinevere's groom. Six letters. Player three. Oh. Okay, well, I mean, I knew that, but That's the it. AI buzzed in, like, immediately. All right, player three. Uh, p player three finally not down $100. Gourmet's garment. I'm not so sure on this one. Something that begins with A, but I have no idea what. I would not have guessed that. All right, player three. I like that he just comes in in a random television window randomly. Offspring. Five letters. What? I, I can't think of anything. Oh. Well, that's a weird way to phrase that. Contestant three, your turn. Thank you, randomly appearing TV man. I already forgot your name. Answer. Daily Double! Daily Double. Three. Your way to Gorgeous oh. Gardner. Three. Ava? That's it exactly. What the fuck? Who's Ava? Explorer Jacques Cartier called it the River of Canada. I I have no idea. Man, this is really showing how stupid I am. Okay, cool, if you say so. <laughs> All right, think again. This blue September birthstone symbolizes clear thinking. Player one? Ah, uh, fucking. Sapphire, maybe? Shit. I don't know how to spell sapphire. Uh-oh. Uh. Ah, uh, uh, fuck. Ah. Uh. Oh, no. I told it to be loose with the spelling, right? That's it. Oh boy. Okay. I didn't spell that correctly, but at least it gave me it.
the freaking noises that it makes. Are most often cut in the form of brilliance with 58 facets. Player one? Diamonds! I think. I could very well be wrong. Diablo, whoa, hey, calm down there, predictive text. Why? Freaking Jeopardy is trying to summon the freaking devil. All right, Which is usually what I do when I play horror games and stuff, but, you know. For once, I'm not doing one of those. <laughs> this fossil resin used in jewelry burns with a bright flame and pleasant fragrance. I'm not sure. Amber? I could very lose. I could very well lose all my money. Wow, I apparently know stones better than I thought. And... This iridescent material that lines the inner surface of abalone shells is also called nacre. I have no idea. I don't know what abalone shells are really, and I'm not sure what nacre means. Really? Yeah, yeah, you can't even guess? Mother of Pearl. Oh, man. You should have said it was a Spongebob reference. I would have gotten it then. Mother of Pearl! Fire on the poop deck! Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, my... Cities on this Swiss lake include Montreux and Lausanne. I don't know anything about Swiss. I don't know, Switzerland. What do you think I am? That's it. I did not know Lake Geneva was in Switzerland. All right. This reservoir formed by Hoover Dam is the largest artificial lake in the U.S. Ah, uh, shit. What is the name of that lake? That's not just called Lake, lake Hoover, is it? I don't want to lose my money. I'm not confident. Lake Mead, god damn it. I'm stupid. Fuck. I should have known that one. It's your turn, player two. I should have known that one. That was my own fault. Mm -hmm. This river in West Central Africa is also called the Zaire River. Player one? I'm gonna hope that it's just the Nile. I'm probably gonna lose oh, all my money because I'm answering this. Uh... Good guess, but no. Fuck! He said good guess and I thought I had it. <laughs> you prick. Here is the correct response. Oh, Conga. Alright. Player two, you choose. Oh man, and just like that I'm back in last place. I have no idea. Here is the correct. Saint Elmo? Yo, Elmo's ordained? Player two. Holy shit. He really grew from those tickle me days. Why are you speaking like freaking Japanese at me? Saint Peter? He was he was crucified upside down? Player I had no two, idea. You choose. Saint Basil the Blessed was an advisor to the Tsar in this city. A church there is named for him. Oh, shit. 
Now you expect me to know Russian churches? I would have said, like, freaking St. George because there's a George in Here. Moscow, really. There was a priest named Moscow? And to huh. finish the board, I had no idea. In the name of St. Gregory Thaumaturgus, Thaumaturgus Gesundheit. means wonder worker. In this language. Uh, my guess would be. No. Sorry. My guess would be Greek, but I have no idea if that's Greek. I don't want to lose the rest of my money. Oh, it was Greek! Fuck, I should have answered. I wasn't confident. Oh no. Well, that brings us to the end of the first round. Thank you. At least I'm not in last. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> My stupid right, little Mogus. And now the categories for the double jeopardy round. Sure. Business and industry. The fuck. Furniture. Shit. The old testament. Crap. Number, please. Ass. Actor directors. Eh. 1896. I wasn't born yet. Player three, you go first. On an outing to a baseball game, you'll usually see this number of innings. Player one. Oh, can I just do the number nine? That's correct. Woo! Player one. What will it be? Oh, you're even a baseball fan. My dad is. Though I used to play baseball. Winks and a cat nap are days in length. Player three. Forty. Correct. Wow. All right. Your choice, player three. A dodecahedron has this dodecahedron. many faces, one for every letter in its name. What? Ah, uh, the answer was in That's the question, it. but I didn't buzz fast enough. Player two, what'll it be? That's not fair. On a telephone, the letters G H I go with this number. Oh, fuck me. Are you kidding? Who still uses that kind of traditional phone? Ah, oh, fuck. What was it? Ah, uh, ABC would be one. Would it be... No, that would be two. Would it be four? That's right. Oh. Player one, you choose. Hey, I'm in the lead. Sweet. The Bible says the normal lifespan of man is three score and ten this many years. Player one? I'm pretty sure that means thirty. I can't wait to be wrong. No. Stop. <laughs> no. Thanks. Thanks for letting me down easy. I literally just lost all my money. 70. Wow. Okay. It's your turn. <laughs> and just like that, I'm back with freaking number three. All right. Try actors and directors. When his 1972 oh, film, shit. Beware the Blob, was reissued, it was subtitled The Movie J.R. Shot. I don't remember the director's name for Beware the Blob. That's 
That's right. Ah, oh, damn it. Player two, it's your turn. Man, player two is gonna freaking kick our ass. He directed himself, Dad Lloyd, and Brother Jeff in the movie The Thanksgiving Promise. I've never even heard of that movie. View bridges. No idea. Sorry. Your choice. I'm old, but I'm possibly, but I'm probably not that old. A Bronx Tale, the first film directed by this taxi driver star, earned critical praise, not Bronx cheers. I. Mm. Oh, fuck. Player one. Why am I answering? I'm fucked. I don't know how you spell his last name. No, that's incorrect. Damn it. Well, there goes the rest of my money. Here's Robert De Niro, fuck. I had no idea and I don't know why I answered. Now I'm down on now I'm down a hundred. Shit, now I'm gonna get freaking mugged. Alright, well I don't even get the chance to freaking jump in on this. This daughter of director John made her own directing debut with the TV movie Bastard Out of Carolina. What? Oh my god. Hi. Friggin' jump scare everybody. Apparently I am playing horror games today. Player two? You are correct. Damn. Okay. Peter Ustinov directed the 1962 film version of this Herman Melville novel and played Captain Zare in it. No idea. Anyone? Player two? Sorry, that's incorrect. Yeah, I didn't think so. The captain's name in that book was Ishmael. Anyone? Billy Budd? Never heard of it. Or him. All right, think again. In 1896, this candy coated popcorn and peanut mixture got its name. What? Player candy two? coated. Oh. Uh, Yes. I would have not thought Cracker right, Jacks. Even if I had more time to think than freaking two microseconds. Prudential Insurance began using this landmark rock in its ads. The fuck is Prudential Insurance? What? A freaking Pride Rock and a freaking Lion King? I have no idea. I'm sorry. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Gibraltar. Okay. All right, think again. I need a freaking question that I know the answer to so that I can actually be in the game. Answer. <laughs> well, it's not going to be this one. Player two, go away, please. Please, all, please lose your money, you dumb fuck. On August 17, 1896, gold was found in Bonanza Creek, a tributary of the Klondike. In this, 
present territory. Player two? For Klondike Bar? Mm, regrettably, no. Well, at least he lost all of his money. Here is the Yukon territory. Is that even still a thing? Alright, think again. U.S. triple jumper James Connolly won the first Olympic gold medal at the games in this city. No idea. I don't follow the Olympics. I don't care about them. Believe it or not, sports and the Olympics, not my thing. Anyone? I am a nerd that plays video games. <laughs> Athens. Mm. All right. All right, think again. England's first autos were built in this city, famous for Lady Godiva's ride. What? What did you just say to me? Anybody? All right, think again. One may be dining, Parsons, or drawing. What? Player two? You are correct. What? All right, think again. A low seat with no back and three or four legs. One in a bar is usually taller. Player one? I don't know why I went this way for a zero. That's it. Woohoo! I'm back in the positives. What'll it be, player one? I guess give me more furniture. Because I definitely don't know anything about the Old Testament. This piece of hall furniture is specifically for holding bumper shoots. The fuck is bumper shoots? I'm not this old! Umbrella stand? Is that what a bumper shoot is? Is it an umbrella? I was about to look up what a freaking bumper shoot is, but I guess it's an umbrella? In this process of distressing new furniture to look old, Bird shot may be used to create wormholes. What? What does that even mean? Bird shot may be used to create wormholes? Here is the correct response. Antiquing? What? Player one, what'll it be? Th th thank you. It's the French equivalent of a what not. What not what? I don't know what you're asking me. Here is correct. What the fuck? How do you even say that? At a gear? Player one, you choose. Fuck me. In 1906, this auto firm introduced its silver ghost model. Well, this is a freaking car or something, and I don't know cars. Again, I'm a nerd that stays inside and plays video games. Anybody? And the AI apparently have went brain dead. Player one? Hey, man, I'm trying. Look, I'll answer when I know it. Before moving to Chicago in 1856, this department store owner clerked in a Pittsfield, Massachusetts dry goods store. What? How is any of this helpful? Pittsfield, Mass dry goods Anyone? store? Marshall Field, what? 
I'm so confused. Layer one, it's your turn. Yeah, I know. It's probably going to stay that way because I think both me and the AI have lost all the rest of our brain cells. This stagecoach company owned the Pony Express during the oh, last fuck. few months. Of I knew this, but I forgot the name. And apparently the AI doesn't remember it. Oh, sh up, or maybe they do. That's wrong. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, Pacific Western would have been my guess. Okay, maybe I don't know this. Anybody? Wells Fargo and Company. Oh, shit. Okay. Your choice, player one. In 1962, he founded Electronic Data System after working for I In the end, it was you that puked on my Wi-Fi, or are you lagging? I mean, I might be lagging, but it could also just be the game, because this game does not run well. You're lagging? Oh. H. Ross Parrot? Yeah, Family Feud is over. We played like three games of it, and the last one I actually managed to win and got to fast money, but then I like fucked up fast money. This German family began its steel making business by setting up a plant in Essen in 1811. I have no idea. I'm lagging. Crazy. Anyone? Oh yeah, I'm dropping frames. All right, you, you know what? Maybe, maybe you're right, Chiba. Okay. <laughs> In Numbers Chapter Ten, most maybe it's the Twitch resolution is too high. I don't know how to lower that. <laughs> What? What? Anybody? Ark of the Covenant? That's an Indiana Jones message. Right. Movie. Blech. Player one. Messages aren't even sending? I'm seeing your messages, Chibu. The musical instrument called a chauffeur was made from this part of a ram. Player two? Amazing writing. You are correct. It's your turn, player two. I can this see more than a second. Oh, jeez. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. I have no idea. What's the rule of this game? Anybody? Uh, well, I mean, typically what they do is give you the answer, and you have to, f and you have, and you have to respond with the question okay. that that answer is for. So you typically have to say like what is or who is, and stuff like that. But I'm a. Uh, I'm not doing very good because I don't know what the hell a lot of these things are referring to. Because I don't know the Old Testament. Player two? Oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Don't know shit either. I, apparently, at least the AI is wrecking their own game. What the fuck is that name? ruled Israel at the end of the period of judges and anointed the first two kings. Sure. What? I have no fucking idea. At this point, I'm just going to hold on to my money so that way I can play in the final round. Here is the correct response. The high Samuel. How's it going? That's the end of Double Jeopardy. No shit. Well, look like it's just me and player three that's going into the final round. Player two went from being the number one player to now being 
freaking having to get mugged in the parking lot. Gonna beat him for his money. Oh, by the way, Chiba, do you like the little Amogus that I drawn next to my name? <laughs> I don't know if you saw that or not. Take a look at the categories for Final Jeopardy. Around the world, around the world, around. Blown away by my handwriting. Look, look at my little Amogus. <laughs> Amazing. This South American country grows twice as much coffee as Colombia. Well, I'm gonna assume Brazil. Oh, this music. Oh, is this gonna be copyright? This might be copyright. <laughs> Well, now I just kind of want to sit here and jam to the freaking Final Jeopardy music. What the fuck is Brasilia? No idea. Tales of Brasilia. God damn it, Chibu, you're so funny. <laughs> Can Aqua hug you? Unfortunately, Aqua isn't here. She's busy with, like, errands and stuff. But I'll tell her to hug you next time she's around. Alright, I think we got enough of the music. Let's see how everyone did. Thanks, Johnny. Very good. Now, what was your wager? You're in the lead. Yeah, for now, but freaking this joker. Your question, he probably also said Brazil. Oh, oh he said Peru. That's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Sometimes you get a tough one. Oh my god, I won Jeopardy! Woo! I won Jeopardy and I answered like almost no questions! Congratulations, Player One! You're the Jeopardy champion! Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. Man, he was quick to leave. What, you have an appointment or something? Oh, you gotta get to? Jesus. This was epic. <laughs> Here are the high scores for all the game modes. Oh, you mean one? <laughs> Haven't played a speed game. I'm that box now. That is what I've become. I am now a box. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Ah, my ears. Now stop. Oh, wait. That's not coming from the... Is that not coming from the game? Why? Chibu, can you still hear that noise when I click this? Or, or does it go away for you? The noise, the noise went away when I did that? Oh, cool. So I guess it just sticks around for me. That's fun. All right. Well, as long as you, as long as you can't hear it, I hear some buzzing sometimes. Oh, that's not ideal. All right. Um, d d d Je Je Jeopardy, stop, stop it. Bye, Jeopardy. Okay. <laughs> uh, I I just needed Jeopardy to stop.
I sound possessed? Oh, jeez. Am I having microphone issues now? I hope not. Anyway, I'm, uh... <laughs> that is gonna conclude for this portion of the stream, at least, YouTube, with these random freaking PS1 freaking TV game show games that I didn't even know existed on the PS1. I'm gonna move on into something else now that you'll probably see uploaded at some point in the future, eventually. But, um, uh, yeah, this is gonna be the end for this part of the video. YouTube, hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, please consider following if you aren't already. Very much appreciate it. And, yeah, I'm, uh, see you around. I'll, I'll be back either Thursday or Friday, YouTube. Whenever you, you'll, you'll see this video later. Bye, YouTube!